You know, I was wondering what to get for a beautiful lady like yourself. All thanks to it, to Providence, I was able to get your favorite drink. Ethan, how many times have I warned you to stop doing this? I love you. And this is the only way I can prove how much I care about Are you. Are you out of your damn mind? I am just madly in love with you. Now, this will be the final warning. Anytime you pull this kind of stunt again, in my car, my house, just anywhere around me, you'll have yourself fired. Did you hear me? Ma, I, 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 take this out of my car now. I, now! Take it out! Take this out of my car! Oh, oh, I love you. Ma, I, I, lo I love you so much. Just give me one chance, just one chance. I will take good care of you. Please, accept this drink from me, please. This is the only way I can show you how much I care about you. Okay, if you don't like this one, I will buy another one for you. Please now, please now. You don't do this to me now, please. Please. Him too. <sighs> oh. I'm so sorry. Mm. Ma. I'm done, Ma. Oh. Oh. I'm a big girl now. I don't need to be taken for flags to school anymore. <laughs> okay, you heard the madam here. Maybe you should just take you back to the kitchen, okay? Thank you. She okay, eats when she gets back from school. Sure, ma'am. <laughs> so what do you say to Auntie Azuka? Oh, Auntie, I'm sorry for the stress. No, no, not at all. Just take good care of yourself and have a nice day in school. Okay, you <laughs> too at home. You too, ma'am. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Let's go. Okay. Baby, grab my laptop. Oh. What is it? What do you want? Hold on. What is it? I'm not going to eat you up. Hold on. You know you're pretty, right? Leave her alone. Guy, what's up now? What's, what's wrong with you? Why are you disturbing the poor girl? Get out of here! Kai, because you're bad, poor. Come on, you're yeah, poor. Mugu. Can you imagine? Mugu. Well, sorry. Are, are you okay? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is Jeremy. Oh, I'm Beverly. Beverly. <laughs> what are the odds? I have a younger sister that goes by that name, and I call her Bev. Oh, everyone calls me that too. Okay. So you're going home? Yes, yes I am. Is this your first time using this road? No, it's not. My school is just a few houses away. My mom drops me in the morning before she goes to work and then I come back alone. It is obviously not safe walking down here alone. You should tell your parents. I can't tell my mom. She's always busy and I can manage. I'm not a child anymore. I did not say you were a child. Just imagine what would have happened if I didn't show up when I did. Oh. Sir, this is the first time it's happening. It has never happened before. There is always a first time for everything. If it doesn't happen today, it will happen some other time. And what if there is nobody there to help you? I can't tell my mom. She will panic and then she will make me enter that school bus. I don't like it. I enjoy walking home. Okay, you know what? I am always free around this time. Um, do you mind if I wait for you somewhere around your school 
and walk you back home every day. Really? Yes. Do you like the idea? Yes, sir. Thank you so, so much, Uncle Jeremy. I can call you that, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me walk you back home. This is your house? Yes, it is. Um, thank you for coming to my aid today, Uncle Jeremy. It's fine. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, bye bye. Bye, Bev. so beautiful. In fact, the most beautiful I've ever seen. Alright. <laughs> My name is Ima. Mr. Emmanuel, is there anything I can do for you? Or did you just walk into this place hoping to tell any lady you come across that she's beautiful? Not really, but uh, I could buy you a drink. Oh. Baby girl. Hi. Mr. Manuel, the chair you're occupying belongs to my daughter here. Oh, sorry. Yes, please. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Manuel, this outing is a mother and daughter outing. And I'm not sure we will appreciate it, Ted Will. Will we, baby girl? Oh. Winner? Okay, no. Um, can I get your number? Maybe we could talk better some other time. Miss Tim, I have nothing more to say to you. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> I hope it wasn't difficult for you to locate the restroom. No, it wasn't. Because I was wondering what kept you. What? Expecting more of this these days. Beverly. But well, actually, he's cute. Look, he's just staring at you. Oh. Sweetie, you know, um, we should really order now. Oh wow. Mom. What would you want, pasta? That's a good try. Yes, pasta. Waiter. Waiter! Hey, baby. Uh, How are you? Fine. <laughs> Mom. Uh -huh. Don't you think you need someone? Like... Um... Bev? No, Mom. It's been, it's been years now. And... Beverly. 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 We are definitely not discussing this, okay? No, I'm not discussing this with you, and I'm not even going to discuss it with you this night, okay? No, you... Now, you will just go to bed, okay? No, good so night, good 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 night, my baby. Now go, good night. I'm not happy. You'll be fine, trust me. You'll be fine. You know you love me. And I love you too, so you'll be fine. Okay. Good night. Mom, think about it, really. Just go. You're always walking. Yes. I have to walk so I can pay your fees and give you the beautiful life that you're enjoying. Good night. It's been a long time coming. <sighs> I can't keep on falling. I've locked my heart through the keys and no one could find it. I've built my horse so high and no one could climb it.
Hello, Mike, how are you? Um, I came to this supermarket to make a delivery and when I finished and got into my car, it wasn't starting. So, um, I don't know. Can I send you the address so you come and see what the problem is? I should touch what? I don't even know what you're talking about. You're not around? Ha, oh, God. So what do I do now? I, I need to head back to the office. I have an important meeting. Ha. Huh. Okay, no problems. I'll figure something out. Ah, oh, God. Do you need help? It's you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's up with your car? I came here to make a delivery and then... I entered my car and then started it and it wasn't coming on. Okay, let me see. Um, you know what? Just just go in and let me help you. Don't worry, you can trust me with your car. I know my way around the engine, okay? Just go in. Um, when I tell you to start, you start, okay? Um... Okay, um, start now, start. Thank you. What did you do? I told you I I know my way around these things. Thank you so much. Thank you. You just saved me now from what would have been a mess. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's nothing. It's uh, nothing. Can I drop you off? Where are you going? Um, I'm actually going very far. I don't want to stress you. It's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm going very far. Okay. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Right. You're welcome. Alright, um, you take care. Alright, take care. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bev, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. How was school today? <sighs> Not so fine. Why? It's just, it's just the students in the school. They always make fun of me because of my dad. What about your dad? He's dead. I'm sorry about that, okay? Okay. Do you want me to come with you to your school and whoop your ass? No. That doesn't sound convincing. I'm coming with you tomorrow. No, please. Okay, I don't want you to be in this mood. You have to smile. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. You see, let me tell you. Hmm? Your dad being dead is not the worst of things because he's always with you. Ask me how. Oh. King, your dad is in heaven watching over you. So anytime you want to see him, just come out at night. You look up and you see a shining star. That is him watching over you. So whenever anybody makes fun of you for your dad being late, just smile. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Uncle Jeremy. You're welcome. Um, I got this for you. Uncle Jeremy, I, I can't... If you say no to me, it is going to hurt me. So take. Okay, thank you. Chocolate! I really love chocolate. I'm glad you do. Um, Uncle Jeremy. Yeah? I wanted to ask, are you married? No, not at all. Oh. Okay. Do you do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Bev, why why are you asking me all these no, questions? I'm just asking, answer the question. Do you have a girlfriend? Not yet. Perfect. Perfect? What is perfect? No, nothing. 
No, tell me. Why did you say you perfect? Want, Jeremy, nothing. <laughs> Beverly. Uncle Jeremy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uncle Jeremy meets my mom. Mom meets Uncle Jeremy. Your mom? Mm hmm. Wow. Now I see where you got your good news from. <laughs> nice to meet you again. Again? Do, do you know my mom? Yes. Oh. No. Let's go. Okay. Goodbye. That guy. Mom. Beverly. Mom. Mom, promise me you won't freak out. Please. Hmm? Okay, I promise. <clears throat> so, a few weeks ago, on my way, from school. I was I was attacked by a guy. In you were attacked? Beverly, you were attacked on your way back from your school? Mom, you promised you wouldn't freak out. I'm sorry, I can no longer keep that promise. Oh. What do you mean? You were attacked on your way back from school and you didn't mention it to me. What if the guy had come back again to attack you? Why didn't you mention it to me? Why didn't you tell me you were attacked? Because you would act like this. Although nothing really happened because Uncle Jeremy came and, and saved me and then he has been... He has been bringing me back Hold from on. School. Uncle Jeremy saved you and has been bringing you back from school. Beverly, for how long has he been bringing you back from school? Beverly, you've been allowing a stranger walk you back home from school. Mm, he's not a stranger. How long has this been going on? For. How long? Three Beverly, for three whole weeks now, a stranger has been bringing you back home. Does the gatekeeper know about this? You know what? I will just call your school right now and I will have them enroll you with that school bus. Mom, please don't. I am not going to discuss this further with you. Did you hear me? It is not up for debate. Now go inside. Now move! Can you imagine this girl? Bev, I, hmm? I waited for you at our usual spot, but I didn't oh. see you. So I came to check if you're fine. I am. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Just that my mom enrolled me with that school bus, so I don't have to walk again. Oh, it's even safer. Okay. Uncle Jeremy, thank you for everything. It's nothing. Okay, okay I'll see you around then. All right, Uncle Jeremy. We have Father's Day in my school in two days. So I wanted to ask if you can fill in for me as my father. Um, have you talked to your mom about this? Not yet. I wanted to tell you first so that I'll, if you agree, I'll tell her. Hmm. Um, you know what? I, I think you should just talk to your mom first and whatever she says, I'm game. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank Fine. you. Okay. Right, okay. Um, so I'll give you my number. So oh, okay. whatever she says, just call me on the phone and tell me. All right. Here. All right. 
here. So, Thanks. just call me and tell me. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Thank you, call. sir. Bye. Thank you. Yes, darling. Uh, um, it's for the staying to this time in my school. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I'll clear my schedule and be there for you. What is it? it it's just that they make fun of me because it's always you showing up. So sorry, baby. Hmm. Can't we get someone else? At least a man. Beverly, that is the problem. There is no man. What about Uncle Jeremy? Uncle Jeremy? Beverly, that man is a stranger. You don't even know anything about him. No, he's not. I know him. And he's a nice person. Please. Okay. Let's say I agree. He still won't make any difference because he's not your father. At least he's a man. I won't be the only one without a father. Let's say I agree. How do we reach him? We don't even know where he lives. I have his number. Beverly, why do I have a feeling we've already spoken to him before coming to me? Mm, please, I'm sorry. I just needed to make sure he would agree before I asked you. Beverly! I'm sorry, please. Please. You know I love you. Go away. Don't patronize me. Please. Okay, I've heard you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Coconut head. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, I'm coming. <sighs> Uncle Jeremy, guess what? My mom agreed you come for my father's day. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. I'm happy you're the one. All right, Uncle Jeremy. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. are back already. I was just about to come give you a ride. No, we, we, we just got here. Yes. Oh, I see. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for accepting to do this for her. God it's, bless you. It's nothing. Bev is my friend, so I'm helping her out. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Uncle Jeremy, every Sunday my mom cooks a special stew. Mm. So, um, I'm inviting you if you would mind. <laughs> oh, mom, like, what do you say? She is inviting you over on Sunday for dinner. So, um, I don't know if it's okay by you to I'll be there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I'll, I'll see you then. Yeah, sure. See you. All right. Bye, babe. Bye bye. Take care. Take care of yourself. Where are you frowning? What was that? What was what? Were you trying to put words in my mouth? No, I was just trying to, you know, thank him for. Maybe next time before you think of inviting your friend over, 
you should ask for permission first from your mother. Okay, mom. Let's go. Really? Oh, mom, I said okay. Beverly! I'll... I'm sorry, mom. Mom, let's go inside. You should have just said you wanted to go out and come and pick me up. <laughs> so how did it go? I'm really enjoying this food. tonight. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for accepting to come. <laughs> Bev, she's so smart. You really did a good job, Rosina. You're a great mother. She's all I have, so I better do a good job. <laughs> Thank you so much for your kind words. They mean a lot to me. <laughs> um, Miranda, by the way, I'm Jeremy. I I know that. Yeah, I I just wanted to tell you myself. Okay, um it's getting oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I should I should be going now. Um thank you so much. It's it's, it's already late. I'll see you some other time. You're welcome, but I hope you know that my door is always open for you anytime. Thank you. <sighs> oh. Hey, Mama. Beverly, I thought you said you were sleepy. Yes, I, I was feeling very, very sleepy. Very sleepy. And uh, just that when I was when I was walking to my room, I just I just felt like the sleep suddenly disappeared, so it's going to be quite appalling if I didn't, you know, say goodnight to you before I slept. So I decided to come and sit here and wait for you. Here I am. Really? Yes. Hey, God. <laughs> Beverly, you must really think I'm betting, don't you? No. No, you're not. Just forget about that. What do you think about Uncle Jeremy? Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was why you came to my room? No. Look, sometimes we need to, you know, have a little conversation. Um, Beverly, please. You need to go so I can freshen up and catch some sleep. Seriously, Mom? Yes. Go to your room and sleep. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. going. Good girl. Bye. Good night. But I hope you dream about him this night. I love you. Oh God. What kind of a child is this?
Mommy. Yes, madam. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You working? Yes, mommy is always working. You know, right? So, mom, um, I wanted to ask. Ask what? Can Uncle Jeremy start walking me back from school again? Beverly, why do you hate coming back with your school bus so much? Nothing. I just prefer walking. It's not like the school is too far. It's just here. Please. Okay. Your Uncle Jeremy can always walk you back Thank home. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> What's that thing? I'm trying to open this site, but I don't know. It's delaying. Maybe the server is bad. I don't understand what you just said. Don't worry. Don't bother your head about it. <laughs> Uncle Jeremy. Yeah. Tomorrow. So tomorrow is my mom's birthday. So I want to surprise her. Please, can you help me? Sure. So what's the plan? So I'm thinking that. Yes, you are. Surprise! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. Gosh. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay. Come, come, come. Cut your cake. Aha. Uh -huh. You're going to spell. Oops. my mom don't you I mean I see the way you look at her well your your mom is a lovely person so why wouldn't I I see you should talk to her <laughs> okay I will that's what you want <laughs> yes oh. Where is Beverly? Uh, she went upstairs. Oh, okay. Here. <sighs> Thank you. Are you okay? Yes, it's um a call from work. You know. Today is your birthday. You need to take a break. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, you two put this together. Uh, it was basically Bev. I just um, played along. Wow. This is beautiful, but you two almost gave me a heart attack. Like, I thought she fainted. What am I even saying almost? I, I was shivering. It is Bev again. <laughs> wow. Beverly. Honestly, I don't know what I did to deserve a blessing like her. I think she's um, more blessed to have you in her life. Um, yes, I I got a gift for you, but Beverly has taken it upstairs. Oh, wow. There's a gift for me in my room from yes. you. You know, you, you shouldn't have bought that. Come on. It's nothing. Um, it's not big, but um, it's just um, a little thing I could put up in such a short notice. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. So cheers. <laughs> Do this.
Thank you so much for making our day. <laughs> yes, thank you, Uncle Jeremy. It's nothing. I wouldn't have chosen to be anywhere else but here. <laughs> um, sorry, I, I have to go do my assignment now. All right, baby. All right. Bye-bye. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, Miranda, I, I wanted to ask, um, do, do you mind going out with me tomorrow? <laughs> I, of course, yes, she'll come with you tomorrow. I thought you said you wanted to go do your homework. Um, I'm sorry. Let me just go now. But she'll come with you tomorrow. Please, Miranda, don't say no. Please. I'll, I'll check, okay? I, I'll see what I can do what I can do. Is that a yes? Please. Okay, yes. I'll go with you tomorrow. Thank you so much. So, I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you for agreeing to come out here. It really means a lot to me. It's nothing. What? You're the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm serious. I am not flattering you. Um, ever since I met you, I I felt this strong connection and when I met your daughter, it became deeper. The moments I have spent with you two have been the best moments of my life. I want you two to stay in my life for a very long time. This is why I'm asking you this. Please be my woman. Please. It was fine. You don't really look good. What happened? Just adult stuff. Mom, really? Okay. He asked me to be his girlfriend. Wow! Tell me you said yes. You, you did not say yes, did you? Oh, come on. It's been eight years, eight good years. That, that is gone and he's never coming back. You've mourned him so much that you've even moved out of the room both of you shared to another one. And I'm sure he'll be happy that you're happy and it's only Uncle Jeremy that gives you joy. That's not true. Baby, you give me joy too. Come but on. But I will not be here forever. Very soon, I will go to the university and when I do that, what, what will happen? Mom, you need somebody. And I, Uncle Jeremy is that person. I have you, okay? We will be fine together. Baby, can you just stop? Yes, we don't need him. Besides, he's way younger than I am. He's a boy. Mom, age is just a number. Yes, he loves us. What else do you want from him? I, I, I really think you should call him and tell him yes. Like, tell him you've changed your mind. Or else I'll do it for you. You wouldn't dare. Oh, seriously, mom, you should call him. Tell him yes. Tell him you were not thinking right when you when you rejected his offer. Beverly. Hmm? Ah. 
how did you get so much up? Well, I'm not sure how that happened either. Wow. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Do you really think I should say yes? Of course. Say yes a million times. <sighs> no, you need to ease of stress. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just call him. Should I get Oh, your phone is here. Let me tell him. Come back my phone. I didn't tell him to call him. Okay, I'll, I'll tell him, but maybe not today. Then when? I don't know. I'm not today. Too much time. Uh -uh. I'm not wasting time. Not, not today. You are back. Yes. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say, Mom, you didn't go to work today. Yes. And Uncle Jeremy, you totally forgot to walk me back from school. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your mom oh. called him, but I totally lost track of time. Okay. Okay. So, um, when I walked in, there was like, you know, a scene. Something, something was happening. So, um, <clears throat> Maybe I I was going to tell you later today. Oh, you guys are now together, right? Yes. All right. Let me leave you. Just continue what you are doing. <laughs> Let me go and freshen up and be careful. Don't use the room, Mom. Use the room, good Jeremy. <laughs> Goodness. <sighs> <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> She's so uh, funny, I swear. Ha, good, Beverly. <laughs> and then, um, thank you for saying yes to me. <laughs> she said we should continue, right? <laughs> okay, but not here. Maybe not here. And they live happily ever after. That's the end of the story. I hope you loved it. <laughs> Am I too old to be told bedtime stories? Too old? <laughs> My sister is 18 and I still tell her bedtime stories. Your sister, Bev? Uh -huh. Oh. Where is she? I would love to meet her one of these days. Um, she's um, somewhere a bit far. Well, you're sure going to meet her one of these days, okay? All oh, right. You said she's somewhere a bit far. How far? Uh, yeah, she. Sir, my mother wants to see you. Okay, so I tell her I'm on my way. Um, Bev, hmm? I have to go now. Okay. Okay. Make sure you have a very good night rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Uncle Jeremy. Good night. Uncle Jeremy. Yeah. Um. I'm glad you're in our lives. Thank you. I'm glad I'm here too. Right. Good night, okay? Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Okay. Top of the morning to you, my love. Babe, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> get up. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you slept well. I did, but my nights were short. My sleep was short. Oh, sorry. Why don't you sleep in? <laughs> What's the time? It's, um... 9 p.m. Stop! <laughs> Don't mind me. I was just joking. It's 6 a.m. Oh my goodness. You didn't sleep well. No, I didn't. Sleep in then. I can't. I have to get ready for work. Yes, you can. I'd help you do everything that you want to do today. Hmm? I'm sure it's sweet, <laughs> And yes, I am making breakfast. You didn't have to. That's why we have Azuka here. I know. 
but I love to be breakfast on my woman. So <laughs> sit here, be pretty, and I'll go get you your breakfast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm coming, all right? All right. Okay, too much pepper or little pepper? Oh, little pepper, please. All right. Thank you. <sighs> Beverly! Bear, come, let's go now. Mom, I'm coming. Not without me. Um, so henceforth, I'll be dropping you two off and bringing you back. Okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'll drop off there first, okay. then I'll drop you. That's Yes, I closed from school and so Uncle Jeremy suggested we pick you and grab lunch. Yes. Oh, so really? Shall we? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. go. Babe, why are you still here? I've been upstairs waiting for you. I mean, you're still here. What is it? Mm. Don't worry, I'm fine. It's nothing to be bothered about. I insist. What is the matter? What is wrong with you? Why are you here? Babe, I, I, I don't want to bother you with my personal problems, so it's fine, okay? What is wrong with you? Talk to me. It's my business. It, it hasn't been moving well for some time now, and I, I really want to boost it. I I even requested for a loan, but it was declined. Now I don't even know what to do again. I'm just tired. How much is this money? Happy. I don't want to bother you with my problem. It's okay. Your problem is my problem. Just tell me, how much is it? How, how much are we talking about? Oh, two million naira. It's okay. The first thing tomorrow morning, I'll write you a check, okay? Ah, no, 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 babe. You, you can't do that, please. I, I don't want you to worry about it. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll find a way. 
It's not going to be a problem, okay? I'll do it for you. I will, so that you can stop worrying about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I promise you, I am going to pay you back, oh? I will. You don't have to. You don't have to pay me back. Ah, no, 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 no. If you won't let me pay you back, then I'd rather not take it at all. Wow, okay. If you insist, no problems. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't want to see you worrying, okay? Now let's go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> You were duped? Yes. Oh my goodness. A friend introduced me to a Ponzi scheme. Oh, come I, on. I was hoping to get money so that I can pay the debt I owe you immediately. I, I did not know it was scam. Jamie, for goodness sakes, Ponzi scheme? What am I going to do now? How, how do I pay you back? How? It's okay, it's okay. It's two million naira, right? I'll replace the money for you. No, no, no. I, I promise to pay you back. I, I will pay you back. Don't but worry, don't bother about it. I'll replace the money and Thank you will so just much. have to go and do the business you wanted to do with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was crime. I, I thought it was genuine. It's I, I okay. No, no. It's okay. Just be careful next time, okay? You can't be going about trusting people now. Eh? You should verify first. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's okay. Yeah. I hope you like it. <laughs> Ooh, wait. <laughs> you like? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, enjoy your meal. Thank you. I will. <laughs> Ooh. Um, babe, I. I was wondering if I, if I can um, get like um, a, a million naira from you. I, I promise I am going to pay you back. Jeremy, this is like the third time you're asking me for money in two weeks. I don't know. What exactly is the problem? What are you doing with all this money? Is everything okay with you? Um, yes, I, I know, but I, I really need the money for something. I, I promise you, I'm going to pay you back. I will. Please. Please. It's okay. There's no money in my personal account. I'll see what I can do when I get to the office. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let, let me get you juice. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you. Really? I know you better than this. You're obviously bothered. What's the matter? It's Jeremy. Uncle Jeremy. What, what happened? What did Uncle Jeremy do? 
he just keeps asking me for money and whenever I give him, he comes up with another excuse to ask for more. And I'm, I'm just bothered, you know, like something is not right somewhere. Come on, mom. His business is suffering. You know about that? Yes, he told me. And he also told me that he doesn't feel good when he's asking you for money. Please, don't make him feel worse. Just give it to him. I'm sure when his business blooms, he'll pay back. It's okay. I guess I can help him. Yes, you can. Now stop watching your head. How are you so smart? Come here. <laughs> smart like you. I know, baby. <laughs> Viv, how are you? Fine. How was your day? It was fine. And yours? For just a million naran, you're giving me two million. <laughs> I know. <sighs> now, take this money and do everything you can to resuscitate your business, okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, you're still up. Guess what he asked for this time. What's that? One of the cars. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm beginning to think this guy is just here for the money because why does he keep asking and asking and asking? Mom, and... It's Uncle Jeremy. I know, but he never stops asking. But you have three good cars and you're the only one driving them. It's not a bad thing if you give him one. Mom, he's family now. And I'm sure if places are switched, he will do the same for you. Think about it. Oh, I don't know, honestly. I don't know. I just. Mommy, trust us. <laughs> My baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you should go to bed. And you too. Drop the phone and go to bed, okay? Oh. Uh... Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. See very much ticklish. Soka, what? What are you doing here? What if someone sees us? Relax. You and I know no one is home. Did she give you the car? Yes, she did. So we're coming. <laughs> yes, see. We, 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 I've missed you. Seeing you with her almost killed me. I'm sorry. You know I'm doing this for us. Are you sure? You seem to enjoy being with them. Babe, it's part of the plan. You wouldn't want them to suspect anything now, would you? But if you're not okay with it, I don't mind giving back everything and just... It's okay, I understand. Listen, babe. This will only continue. As long as you're comfortable with it. When you're no longer comfortable, just say games up. And I promise you, you and I will walk out of this place holding our hands.
baby. I'm testing. Let me get some water. No, no, no. Don't worry. I'll get it for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm coming. All right. <laughs> Jesus. No, serious. I miss you. Don't you get that? That's okay. We have talked about this. Please, I'll see you later. Easy. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I I, I just um, had water before bringing here, so that's why it looks like I I'm sweating. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus, Azuka, mm. what are you doing here? Why don't we have fun anymore? Hey, Azuka, what if someone sees you here? Why are you here? Is that the only reason? Azuka, please, you have to go. You we'll see some other time. What exactly are you asking for? Maybe you're already developing feelings for her. Don't be ridiculous. How can you say that? Azuka, just go. We'll see you see some other time. Kiss me, I miss you so much. Azuka, stop! Is the game's up yet? Does it have to be before I can touch my man? Then go. I'll see you later. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh. Throw the keys and no one could find it. I've built my wall so high and no one could climb it. I was lost and lost with emotion, but then I found myself inside the ocean. Like I have eaten love potion, I feel like I've been tortured. I was lost and lost with emotion, but then I found myself inside the ocean. Like I have eaten love potion I feel like I've been tortured Go upstairs it's games up, games up, games Get up, out of my house games up, games up, games up. Get out of my house Get out of my house Are you still there? Get out of my house this minute Get out Get out Get out of my house Get out of my house Get out of my house, get out of my house! Get out of my house! Mom, it's, um, I saw your car outside. You came back earlier today. Mom, what is it? Why are you crying? I'm very is Uncle Jeremy. Don't ever mention that name again. Don't ever mention that name in this house again. Okay, so what's the... He lied to us. What? He doesn't love us. He never did. It's been about the money for him since. But it's games up, games up, games up. Can Azuka? Games up, games up. Hey, I just got played. Reverse is the case. I'm done entertaining love. I am tired. I have had enough. I can no longer sing this song again. I didn't know. 
I have had enough. I'm done entertaining. I am tired, I have had enough. Okay, okay, Jerry, no this is such a thing. Not anymore. It's been a long time coming. I feel like I'm still falling. And this is not what I'm yelling for. Now it's games up, games up, games up, games up, games up. Play a I've missed this house. Seeing here. At least we made money off them. Yeah. Hello, Mama. How are you people doing? What? No, 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 Mama, 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 please tell me they lie. No! What? Mm -hmm. She's dead. I wanted to apologize. It was my fault he came into our lives. If I wasn't so gullible, he wouldn't have come here and, and he wouldn't have hurt you. I'm so sorry. Listen, it wasn't your fault, okay? Stop apologizing. Besides, how would we have known that that is the kind of person that he is? It's okay. Don't blame yourself, okay? Okay. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Come here. Mm. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Now go and finish up, okay? I'll join you soon. <sighs> the bear. Hope you went well. And Papa and Mama. They are fine. Um, I made the rice. Right. So let me get you something to eat. Hmm? I'm fine. I'm good. Alice, eat. Where got those wine to celebrate? Hmm? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Are you okay? Yes, it's um 
a call from work, you know. Today is your birthday. You need to take a break. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, you two put this together. Uh, it was basically <laughs> Bev. I just um, played along. Baby. Baby! Um, no, I... It's I'm been fine. A long time coming. Well, take a seat. I can't keep on falling. Is everything okay, baby? Really? I've locked my heart for the reason I can find it. Baby. Are you okay? I was so high and no one could climb. <laughs> I was lost in the last to quit the moon. But then I find myself inside the ocean. Like I have eaten love portion. I feel like I've been tortured. I was lost and lost with emotion. But then I find myself inside the ocean. Like I have eaten love portion. I feel like I've been tortured. But it's games up, games up, games up, games up, games up, games up. The play I just got played. And reverse is the case. So, baby. So, I was thinking we should make plans on how to spend the money. Baby. I said we should make plans on how to spend the money. You can have it all. I just want to rest. This is what you've been doing to me since you came back from the barrier. You don't talk to me. You're always on your own. You don't even eat what I cook. You're just wallowing in self-pity. I understand you lost your sister. But you need to move on with your life. This is why you've been acting cold towards me. It's because you've fallen for her. Azoka, I... I'm sorry, I... I, I You're I, not even going to deny it. I, I didn't mean for it to happen. Um. Okay, um... Give me some. You said to me whenever I'm not comfortable with this whole plan, whenever it gets, you know, so uncomfortable for me, all I need to say to you is, game's up. Jeremy, I am saying that to you now. Okay, let's forget about them, okay? They don't matter, it's us now. We don't even need to think about them now. It's just us now, okay? 
so kind, I'm so very sorry. I, I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I feel like I've been tortured. I was I lost and lost too. with Azuka, emotion. Please. But Azuka, then I find myself inside the ocean. Please, Azuka. Like I have I'm sorry. Portion. I feel like I've Azuka, been tortured. I'm sorry. Azuka. Azuka, I'm sorry. I just got played. And reverse is the case. But it's games up, games up, games up, games up, games up, games up. The player just got played. Reverse is the case. I'm done entertaining love. I am tired, I have had enough. I can no longer sing this song again. I have had enough. I'm done entertaining love. I am tired, I have had enough. I can no longer sing this song again. Azuka, I, I am sorry. It's been a long time. I had no intentions of falling for her. I, I, I didn't want to hurt you. I am. I've thought about it. I let you move in with another woman. What was I thinking? Sorry. You love her, don't you? I do. When we started dating, we promised each other that when we stop being each other's source of joy and happiness, we let each other go. But that's what I'm doing now. I'm letting you go. Asuka, so I... I'm sorry. Thank you so much. If I could just stay here and you know, find a place of my own and... Yeah, sure. You can stay here as long as you want to. It's fine. Um, Azuka, please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Yep, I'm coming. I'm coming. What? Please, um, I, I need to see. I need to see your madam. Sorry, I can't see her. It's me, oh. Bros, I know it's you now. I know you're the one. I'm not blind. You can't. You can't go inside. Please, I don't want to lose my job. Please, uh, it's not going to take time. I, I just need to talk to Miranda, please. Please. <sighs> Bros, I have respect for you. Please, just kindly respect yourself and just leave. Please. Bye-bye. Please, I, I need to talk to you. Miranda, please let me speak to you. Miranda. I was lost and lost with emotion. Miranda. Miranda. I feel like I've been tortured. 
Miranda. Miranda, watch your back. Miranda, watch your back. Miranda, I need to speak to you. Miranda, please. I am tired, I have had enough. I can no longer sing this song again. I have had enough. I'm done to tell you love. I am tired. What are you doing here and how did you even get into this place? I I, I met the gate open. Bev, I Don't really you dare to. call my name again. And the next time you barge into this house like this, I'm going to get you arrested. Now please leave. Bev, I... I said, leave. Good evening, Miss Miranda. Please, can we talk? Masuka, you have no shame. You have the guts to come back to my house after everything you and Jeremy did. He's in love with you. Trust me, man. He's been so much in love with you. He Tell doesn't... him to take that love and shove it down both your toes. Get out of my house before I get you arrested. Get out! Ma, please. Whatever we did, whatever Jeremy did, he did it for his sister. Please, ma. Baby. Are you okay? What is it? It's Bev. My mama just called me. She's sick. And they need like 3 million naira deposit for, for surgery. Three? Where are we supposed to get that kind of money from? Azuka, look at me now. Just, just look at me. Where am I going to raise 3 million naira from in such a short time? It's okay, Hi. Even <sighs> Baby, you promised you're going to eat your food. It's still untouched in the kitchen. I'm not hungry. I thought of something. My madam, she doesn't have any man in her life. You just need to be the perfect man for her, okay? And then we extract the money we need for Bev's hospital bills. 
Asuka. Hmm? I cannot pretend to like someone just because of money. Why? I'm not going to do that though. I won't. Do you have a better idea than sitting here looking hopeless and, and starving yourself? Okay. Um, if she has money, eh? I don't mind going to meet her. Let me beg her for a loan. I'm going to pay back. That's all I want. I'm not going to do that one. Besides, this is our chance to make much more money than that thing you were looking for. Azuka. Eh? What? Do you want to be a photographer your whole life? Me, I'm tired of being a maid, though. I'm tired of being a maid. This is the best opportunity for us to make money, to extort money from her. Don't you get it? I told him about your jogging routine. I also knew the way to get to you even faster was through Beverly. Hence, hold on. I'm not going to eat you up. Hold on. You know you're pretty, right? Leave her alone. Guy, what's up now? What's, what's wrong with you? Why are you disturbing the poor girl? Guy, get out of here. Because you're for. Come on, yeah, for. Mugu. Can you imagine? Mugu. Well. I gave him your car, spare key. All of this were planned. I communicated all your movements to him. He, wa he wanted to stop. He really wanted to stop, you know. Ah. He wanted to stop after he got the first three million, but I blackmailed him. I forced him into this. I'm so sorry for everything we've done to you. It's so unfair to you. I'm so sorry, but Jeremy, he has nothing to do with this. It's just out of my own selfish desires that I kept, I kept pushing for him to keep getting money from you. And I am so sorry I betrayed your trust, trust me. I am very much. I am sorry. I am here because Jeremy, he's, he's become a shadow of himself. He doesn't eat, he doesn't do anything. He's just there, doing nothing. I know I've wronged you. You've been so nice to me. You've been so good to me, you know. And whatever I did, I have no justification for that, and I know that. But Jeremy, he's a nice person. And he loves you so much. He's not even doing anything. He doesn't eat, he doesn't sleep, he's always crying at night. Because of you. Please have mercy on him. He's a really nice person. He's way different than I am. I understand that this whole thing started out as a plan, but right now, it's not like that for Jeremy. But he loves you so up, much. Up, Ma, please, up, I am here up, because up, he's, he has become a shadow of himself, and if we don't do anything about it, he's going to end up. I'm so scared he will just end up dying on us. Please, man, I'm begging you. He really wanted to stop. But whatever Jeremy did, Ma, please, he did it for his late sister. Beverly's dead. Yes, ma. I am tired, I have had I'm enough. So sorry, I can no longer <laughs> take care. I have had enough. Share the money. I'm done entertaining. Do I am tired, I have had enough. I said enough. I should take it. I can no longer sing this song again. 
And I'm here to return my back to you. To beg you to please have mercy. It's been a long time coming. I feel like I'm still falling. And this is not what I'm yearning for. Now it's games up, games up, games up. Miranda, I'm sorry. I, I, I am sorry I fooled you. Everything I did was wrong. It, it, it wasn't my intention to. I, I, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry about your sister's death. It's okay. It's okay. I've forgiven you. It's okay. Thank you so much. I didn't mean to do all that. It was not my intention. Babe, it's fine. It's okay. I heard everything. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miranda. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>